Our conversations with the Russians are key because if it were not for the Russians, then Assad uh, and the regime uh, would uh, not be able to sustain uh, its offensive. And these are difficult negotiations. We have grave differences with the Russians in terms of both uh, the parties we support, but also the process uh, that's required to bring about peace in Syria. Uh, but if, if we do not get some buy-in from the Russians uh, on reducing the violence and easing the humanitarian crisis, then it's difficult to see how we get to the next phase. Uh, so John Kerry and, and uh, his counterpart, Sergei uh, Lavrov, have been working uh, around the clock, as well as a number of other negotiators, to see what would a real cessation of hostilities look like that could provide that humanitarian access and provide uh, people uh, in places like Aleppo relief. We're not there yet. Uh, and you know, understandably, given the previous failures of cessations of hostilities to hold, um, you know, we approach it with some skepticism, but it is worth trying. I think it's fair to say that uh, everybody knows from the President's comments earlier today, which I thought were very much on point, how complicated this issue is because of how many different forces there are, different uh, uh, players, stakeholders, entities, uh, and so forth. And so we've been working very hard over these past months to see if we can get something, that we get it right, and that what we get is uh, sufficiently pinned down that we both understand where we're going.